Among the many Chinese cultural values is to draw lessons from bitter experiences. As the saying goes, to know shame is akin to courage. Today, the Chinese people still remember some painful historical events as a spur for the development of the whole nation. The Jiawu War is a story President Xi Jinping calls on the people never to forget. Liu Gong Island, covering an area of 3.15 square kilometers, is located on the northeastern edge of Shandong Peninsula at the mouth of Weihai Bay. It played an extremely important role in China's national defense on territorial waters. A number of military facilities, such as barracks, iron docks, and emplacements, were set up on the island. The island is described as the birthplace of China's first modern navy, Beiyang Fleet of the Qing Dynasty. It was also one of the main battlefields during the First Sino-Japanese War, commonly known in China as the Jiao Wu War. The fleet was the largest one in Asia during the late 1880s in terms of tonnage. The Qing Dynasty believed that such a fleet was too strong to be defeated. While the fleet was completely ruined during the First Sino Japanese War, although some naval officers and Marines were bravely. On July 25th, 1894, the Japanese fleet attacked two vessels off the Korean port of Asa, causing hundreds of Chinese soldiers to die. Zhu Yan, also known as Cha Yu, was one of the advanced warships of the Beiyang fleet. In a battle, Zhu Yan was besieged by enemy ships and damaged. Under the command of Captain Dong Su Chang, Zhu Yan attempted to ram an enemy ship with a torpedo hit. Sent Zhu Yan, killing Dong and 200 other crew members. Another known hero was Ding Ruchang, the chief commander of the Beiyang fleet. Ding and his troops were besieged in Liao Gangda after fighting hard for days and waiting for a reinforcement that never came. Ding committed suicide. Then the Beiyang fleet surrendered to the enemy. By March 1895, the war ended and the Qing Dynasty's armed forces, including army and navy, were routed. Wanqing military weakness led the Qing army to not be able to build a safe sea line. This led the Beiyang army to be defeated. In addition, the Qing army was slow. The ships were not able to use the weapons of the Qing army. The Shimonosaki Treaty, signed to conclude the war, ceded the Liaodong Peninsula in northeast China. Taiwan and its annex, the nearby Pangyu Islands, to Japan. China also paid Japan 200 million in tales of silver, which was about four years' revenue of the Japanese government at the time. In June 2018, Chinese President Xi Jinping paid a visit to Liaogong Island. He called for Chinese people to draw lessons from history and work hard to build China into a better and stronger nation. Yeah. 